This is the three C's of an emergency and the three P's of first aid. This is presented to you by myself, Janice James, DNP, FNP, Family Nurse Practitioner at the Land Lakes Wellness Clinic in Arden Hills, Minnesota. Whether you're at home in, in your office or in an office at work, working out, or at an event that you're enjoying, the three C's of an emergency are check, call, and care. Check. Check the scene before entering it checking for anything unsafe. If the emergency is surrounded by danger, assistance may be needed. Rushing into a scene without taking in present dangers may lead to more harm or your, for yourself or others. Take the evolution of the scene. Check if the victim is breathing. You may need to give specific care, such as CPR. Call. In an emergency situation, it's important to call 911 immediately. As a first responder, act right away to get help from professionals. Provide correct information for local authorities and get them involved as soon as possible. If someone is with you, have them call 911 while you are with the victim. If available, ask for a first aid kit and or AED machine. Situational awareness a reminder, take a look when you're walking into a building location or a specific venue, and you'll often look, uh, see at the entrance that there's an AED sign showing that they host an AED machine, which um, would be available in case someone were to um, collapse, pass out, or um, authorities became in that location became aware of somebody needing an AED. Care, after checking the scene and calling for help, provide care until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Monitor the victim's breathing. You may need to stop bleeding or perform CPR. Follow the circulation, airway, breathing of first aid. The three P's of first aid, preserve life, prevent deterioration, and promote recovery. Preserve life. As a first responder to any situation, your first priority should be to preserve life. You may need to perform CPR, stop bleeding, or take the action to preserve the victim's life. Start with CAB, circulation, airway, and breathing. Assess the quality of the victim's circulation. Adjust if needed. This means you may need to begin CPR. Ensure that the victim has no blocks to their airway that are impairing their breathing. This may include something that you can see readily in their mouth or plastic or other substances close to their face, nose, or mouth. Um, including things like uh, heavy smoke. The goal is to prevent the condition from worsening in any way. Prevent deterioration. Do what you can to keep the victim in stable condition until medical professionals arrive. The goal is to prevent the condition from worsening and prevent any further injury. This may mean moving the victim to a safer location, applying first aid, stabilizing them, or just staying with the victim and providing comfort. Promote recovery. After you've done what you can do with the first aid treatment, your job now is to promote recovery. This can be done by encouraging confidence, providing comfort, attempting to relieve pain, and so on. These tips and tricks for emergency situations and first aid will likely differ based on your specific situation. 
but remembering the basics of what to do may help you save a life or prevent further pain. Know these simple steps before you find yourself in a situation where it's hard to think clearly. Here are some informational references and my contact information. My name is Janice James and I'm a family nurse practitioner at the Land Lakes Wellness Clinic in Arden Hills, Minnesota. Jan.james at oracle.com and a phone number for me, 651-375-2273. I'd love to hear from you uh, with information, questions, or feedback. The American Heart Association is an excellent organization and there are lots of opportunities for individuals to learn CPR, gather further information, or just have some further um, way of um, potentially, you know, helping. National Institutes of Health is another good website, and this talks a lot about um, AEDs and um, that they do save lives. So I look forward to your feedback and I'm hoping that this went well for you.